If you want the smallest, lightest weight DSLR on the market today, take a serious look at the Canon EOS Rebel SL1. Today, we're going to show you how it stands up to the competition. The Canon Rebel SL1 is an 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor equipped DSLR that has Canon's Digic 5 processor and is designed for the enthusiast who wants the smallest possible DSLR body, but one that doesn't sacrifice features and performance. The images and video are on par with other cameras in this class, like the flagship of the Rebel line, the T5i. And because size is the main feature that sets the SL1 apart from the pack, let's talk about it. I've got average size hands and I comfortably grip the biggest full frame DSLRs out there. They feel good to me, so I was pleasantly surprised that this little DSLR was quite comfortable to handle as well. I was also concerned that the compact form factor would either eliminate some buttons or some controls that I'd want, or I'd accidentally press buttons by mistake. I'm happy to report that neither of these things were an issue. The lighter weight and small size took just a little getting used to. The SL1 doesn't have an articulating screen like lots of the Canon Rebel cousins do, but the fixed LCD is a great 3-inch Clearview 2 touchscreen LCD, and that's one of my favorite features of the recent Canon Rebel line. The touchscreen gives you such quick access to settings and image review zooming, and you can even enable touch AF and touch shutter so that you can just touch a spot on the screen in live view mode and the camera will focus there and take the shot. It's a wow feature, but you probably won't be using it a lot because it works best with a tripod and it's not especially quick, like pre-focusing by holding down the shutter button halfway. Besides, I prefer to shoot with the optical viewfinder anyway. One last thing that's a little different because of the size of the camera is the fact that the SD card slot is right beside the battery. I was concerned that if I attached a quick release plate for a tripod that I'd have to take the plate off every time I wanted to swap memory cards. Again, I was worried about something that wasn't a problem. My Arca Swiss style plate from my Mi Photo tripod was small enough that clearance was no problem at all. The shooting experience was quite good. There are nine autofocus points and the center one is a cross type sensor. The focusing was pretty darn quick and very accurate and the autofocus points cover a surprisingly large portion of the image area. The camera is rated to shoot a respectable four frames a second. Using my class 10 SD card that has a 400x write speed, shooting full size high quality JPEGs never even filled the buffer. So I was able to keep shooting at that rate. Shooting raw images, I got about 8 frames in the burst before it slowed down. The low light performance is quite good with a native ISO range that runs from 100 to 12,800 and that can even be boosted up to 25,600. I got really usable images up to 6400 but over that noise started to be a little bit of a problem. Pro shooters and enthusiasts will appreciate that shooting modes like program, shutter priority, aperture priority and manual mode are there and there are a host of automatic scene modes for novices and those learning DSLR photography. There are several scene modes where you can tell the camera what you're shooting like portraits, landscapes, close-up, etc. and there are some other modes that are worth a quick mention. Of course there's a fully automatic mode called scene intelligent auto mode for complete novices where the camera looks at the scene and it sets everything for you automatically. But I really like Canon's creative auto mode because it lets people get a particular look without really understanding which camera settings need to be changed to get that effect. For example, if you know you want a blurry background or a tack sharp background, you can just use creative auto and move the background blur slider. You don't need to know a thing about aperture, ISO and shutter speed settings. A couple other new specialty modes introduced with the SL1 are kid mode, and food scene mode. Speaking of background blur, Canon has equipped the SL1 with background simulation, which gives you a live view preview of what your background blur will probably look like in the finished image. The SL1 can also preview the look of creative filters on the live view screen, 
like grainy black and white, soft focus, toy camera, and others. Another smart new addition is the SL1's Effect Shot Mode, which captures one unretouched image and one with an effect applied. When it comes to video, there are several features you might not expect to find. The SL1 can capture 1080p HD video at 30 frames a second or 720 HD at up to 60 frames a second. There's a mic jack so that you can get good quality audio from an external microphone. And there's continuous autofocus available while you're recording. And speaking of AF during recording, Canon offers the SL1 in a kit with an 18 to 55 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 image stabilized STM lens. That STM designation is a relatively new Canon technology that means your focusing during filming will be practically silent. I love these new STM lenses. Another nice thing about video with the SL1 is that you can be in any shooting mode and just flip the on-off toggle past the on position and you're in video mode. Now the live view button becomes the video record button and the shutter button allows you to snap pictures while you're filming. One quick word of warning is that photography during filming will result in drop frames and you'll hear the shutter click on your video playback. So the Canon Rebel SL1 is a very respectable DSLR with a really good sensor, a complete feature set, impressive HD video capabilities, and a very cool new touchscreen. When you look at the big picture, this camera has great features and performance for its price point. And the fact that it's the smallest and lightest DSLR at the time of this video review is just an added bonus. For B&H and Kelby Training, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.